Alright, so you've decided to ruin your life by buying a Volkswagen. Maybe an Audi, I think they have the same problem. Um, so what we're going to do is turn this on and see if the code comes up. Yeah, EPC. <coughs> So again, start-stop system, EPC, sometimes in the engine light, um, and you're going to drive it and it's going to have no power, you have to really floor it to get to 100, um, really slow pulling out, basically no boost um, on the turbo. Um, sometimes it will come, come and go, um, if I turn it off, and then turn it back on. It might not. Yeah. So without the EPC load on, it's going to do. It's going to drive like normal. It's just got a latched engine code on there now. Um, so that won't go away now. I think until you clear it. But the EPC light will come and go. Um, you're going to plug your scanner in, and it's going to say something along the lines of a generic power line or powertrain failure, maybe something about the uh, boost control low, or something along those lines. Um, I'll dig out what the proper code is just now, I'll plug this thing in. Um, quite hard to diagnose because it doesn't give you any real information as to what it is, you have to go and have a good look through what's, um, what all your sensors and stuff are saying. Um, so we'll plug that in now and have a look what it says. So I got our Volkswagen owner's uh, best friend. We're gonna do a. I oh, just do a check. How do we do that? It's not touch screen on this. Let's just do a general check. See what comes up. So we got one code found, which is expected. I'm gonna read that. Yeah. 2263 stored turbocharger slash supercharger boost system performance. Uh, so this is a well, Mark 7 Golf with the, I think it's a 1.4 litre DSG, uh, which is another problem. Um, but it's got a little, little turbo on the back of the engine. Um, now if we go into... The diagnosis and scroll down about 300 or so um, modules it's gonna we can get to the uh, the wastegate actuator I think it's got the boost actuator on this um, and if we go into that it's going to say it's operating at something like 150 percent um, and that is because these uh, they have an electronic uh, actuator controlling the boost, uh, controlling the wastegate on the on the turbo. And a uh, problem with these cars is that seizes up. Um, it's not the actuator itself. It's there's a there's where the rod is connecting into the into the turbo and it's pushing in and out and moving the flap to control the boost pressure. Um, that pivot point that's in the turbo doesn't have a very good bushing um, and it, it seizes up um, I know other countries seem to have a lot of, a lot more of a problem uh, than we have here uh, often it will seize up enough and it will break um, the actuator arm uh, which will give you the same code basically um, so fortunately it's not actually a hard job um, it does turn into a maintenance uh, rather than a one and done. I've done this. This is the second time, so I thought I'd record it because it took ages for me to diagnose uh, what the problem was. Um, so the forums uh, will usually come up with that broken arm and you have a look and it's obviously not a broken arm. But once you have one of these and really dig into the settings, um, you know, you'll see the arm is, is getting way too much voltage to act how it needs to act, so it's definitely sticking. So we'll turn this off, we'll pop the hood, I'll show you what we're going to use to fix it, 
Um, I think I did this last maybe 12 months ago. Um, I think it depends a lot on uh, the humidity and stuff as to as to how long that lasts before it gums up again. Uh, if you live in a country where it's they salt the roads in winter and stuff, it's probably going to not last as long as it would otherwise. Um, and in that case, you've probably already had the turbo replaced under warranty. That was... Um, a lot of them were failing before the warranty was up. So, I'm waffling on now, but we'll open the hood, have a look what we're going to use. Alright, so don't actually need too much to do this job. Um, we're going to need an 8mm. You might, may or may not need a extension. Um, so, I'm going to focus. Here's our actuator down the back of the engine. Um, on top and below, there's an 8mm bolt, head bolt. Um, we've got a... Where are we? Connector there. You don't need to take those Torx bolts out. So just take that connector off. Pull those two. I'm pretty sure there was two. Uh, quick feel. those two bolts out uh, then the, one of the harder parts is so directly behind there um, it's not going to focus you're going to follow that arm and then there's a pivot point and the, the pivot point's just got a uh, like an e-clip that you can just push out with a screwdriver um, I would suggest wrapping it in a towel so it doesn't fall onto the depths of the engine bay. So we're just going to pull those out um, and then we're going to use some nickel anti-seize. Uh, that's important because it's good up to 1300 degrees uh, because that bit is right next to the turbo. It gets quite hot. Um, that seems to be the best choice. Uh, Volkswagen does make their own high temperature anti-seize thing which is apparently quite a good product. If you want to go to the dealer and get some of that I'd probably recommend that. Um, same same. Same same but different. But uh, This stuff's on the shelf. It's like 20 bucks. Uh, we'll pull that out. Alright, there's our actuator. Um, if this is not your first time greasing it, you can probably do it in place just by popping the popping the clip off and then lubing that bit. Um, you just get a screwdriver up under that little gap there. Lever it out. Um, you can see this is... Uh, you can see that? Starting to get a bit ovaled out, so I might put a proper bush in there one day, see how it goes. Um, if you take your Volkswagen to the dealer, they will gladly sell you a new actuator, new turbo, uh, and I believe a new manifold as a unit. Um, if that's the problem. We've just got our wastegate on the back there, so we can move it. I can feel it moves fine, there's no side to side play, or nothing anyway. Feels alright. Um, so anyway, the reason, for, the reason for pulling it out is just to check that your shaft is indeed not broken. Uh, that your wastegate is indeed moving freely. Um, if you have never cleaned this, it's probably going to be pretty grubby. Some dry rust on there last time when I did it. Um, this time I'm just going to clean it up with this cloth. I'm going to put some nickel anti-seize back on there. I'm going to put the actuator back in. I'm going to put our two 
8mm head bolts back into the actuator to hold it in place. I'm going to put our clip back on the wastegate and then I'm going to plug our uh, clip back in there, that one. Um, yeah, so let I me mean, just have a good look, make sure the wastegate's moving, it's not flopping around um, axially, I guess. Um, kind of hard to see, but you'll be able to see it when you're doing it, see if the shaft is good, um, where, the, where that rides. Um, give it a clean up, lube it up, and then we'll uh, go back inside and play with the computer again. Alright, we're going to go back into our check engine codes. Gonna focus. Is this on? Yep. Wow, slow, okay, um, yeah, that'll do it. Alright, now we're doing it. Alright, one code found, yep, do we know that? I'm going to go ahead and I am going to erase. Yep, turn off, be gone. Mission related because it is powertrain. I'll read it, there'll be nothing there. I'm going to turn this back off. I'm going to unplug that. Alright. Um, so, yeah, when I uh, was fiddling with the, with the actuator, um, I moved the, moved the little arm a little bit and it retracted so it was it was stuck out um, you can get the problem where the actuator does actually fail uh, that's a lot rarer than this I believe um, so I mean you can um, run various tests and things on those uh, we'll turn this back on see what happens gone oh come back stop start system might want a couple of cycles Then back off. There we go. Um, yeah, it can move back and forwards a bit, get lube, lube itself up, I guess. Um, in my case, I can see that that uh, pivot point is starting to overlap um, from years of no no lube because there's no bushing in that thing it's just steel on steel um i will probably make a oil light bushing or something i don't know um sell this to some other sucker that's probably the best thing to do before uh when you buy a volkswagen um sometimes that uh the wastegate caesars i've seen a guy uh, fixing those because they also don't have a proper bushing in them or something uh, I believe he was putting a brass bushing into those um, but not the pivot in, in, in his application so if you get that code uh, 2263 burned into my memory that's something to look at it took a long time to find to diagnose um, not much information on the forums. I found one post from about 10 years ago that said what it was. Um, 
so yeah, hopefully that helps someone. That took a long time for me. Um, it's uh, Volkswagen life, I guess. We'll uh, see you in the next one.